three, two, one, go! The best wood choppers in the world were in the Czech Republic capital of Prague recently for the 2019 Timber Sports World Championships. Two and a half thousand fans packed into the city's iconic industrial palace for two days of log splitting action. With both individual and team titles up for grabs, home fans had Martin Russell and the Czech team to cheer on. But it was reigning champions Australia that were favorites to retain their title, with their star chopper, Braden Mayer, the man to beat in the individual event. Mayer qualified by winning the Australian National Championships and in doing so knocked out 2018 champion Lawrence O'Toole. He wasted little time in his attempt to take the trophy down under by winning the opening event, the underhand chop, in a blistering time of 14.25 seconds. Go. Further success came in the stock saw with another 12-point maximum. Event three was the standing block chop, with Mayer once again leading the way. His time of 12.3 seconds was almost three seconds faster than his nearest challenger. Three, two, one, go! In the single buck, he went head to head with Canada's Ben Cumberland. The pair were neck and neck the whole way but it would be Cumberland's cookie that dropped first in a time of 12.94 seconds to hand Mayer his first defeat of the event. The Australian did clock the second best time to consolidate his lead at the top of the standings with two events to go. The penultimate discipline was crowd favorite, the springboard, and once again it pitted Cumberland and Mayer against each other. This time, it was the Australian who came out on top with his fourth victory in five events, all but securing him the title going into the hot saw. Three, two, one, go! With a 15-point lead, Mayer would just need to complete the three cuts with the hot saw to seal the title. What should have been a formality almost ended in disaster when his saw lost power seconds into the challenge. He would need to restart it and complete the three cuts within the 60 second time limit or fall at the final hurdle. Fortunately, he regained his composure to finish in a time of 41 seconds. Oh, it's an unbelievable feeling. Yeah, to win this for the first time, I've been, it's my life goal, apart from having kids and getting married, so. It's an unreal feeling and um, it's a good one to take home to the family. Mayer was also in the team event with reigning world champions Australia, one of 20 nations in attendance. The teams would compete in head-to-head -head relay races with four of the chopping disciplines contested. After four rounds, it was left to Australia to battle it out with old rivals New Zealand. Robert Dowling got New Zealand off to a great start in the stock saw, giving them a slight lead after the first leg. That advantage didn't last long with Braden Mayer making short work of the underhand chop. Kai Lemon and Brad DeLosa went head to head in the single buck, with the pair finishing a fraction of a second apart to set up a grandstand finale on the standing block. Mitch Argent was anchoring the Australian team with Shane Jordan last up for New Zealand. It would be Australia and Argent who edged it with less than two seconds splitting the teams. Mayer and his compatriots will be hoping to defend their titles in Gothenburg, Sweden next year.